Well, I'm sorry to say this, but Rita isn't that bad anymore. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know there is one ride in particular that I always used to hate on. It's basically got every other ride around it, which is we way don't better. talk about Rita. Wait, so if Rita comes ride. up, I can just say terrible shit. Despite having already done a video where I share my honest opinion on this ride, I'm here again to not hate on Rita, but to somewhat spread some appreciation of it slightly. Now, I am aware that um, by law or by the, the realms of good, good wishing, I cannot... I cannot be forgiven for all of the slander I've put upon Rita over the years because I've called it bad a few times. But like last time, I'm going to go for a POV and give you my opinion on different parts of the ride because they have very much changed since last time. How have they changed, may you add? Now, as much as I went on it one time whilst I still hated it and I thought, you know what, that was, that was an alright ride. Maybe it's not so bad after all. And then I had another ride and it was dreadful. Every time I've done it this year, it hasn't been that bad. So let's take you on my very in-depth analysis of a POV. So first of all, if you've watched the last one, you'll realise this is a much better POV. The last one was angled at about 90 degrees in the air. You're sat in the station, as you edge forward, the lights go red, and then the green light comes on, but by the time it's come on, you've already launched off. And that unexpectedness is very cool. I, I thoroughly enjoy that. The launch itself is quite fast. It's obviously not as fast as, say, Stealth or... I almost said Icon, but that's a lie. Or oh, thing is, the ride next to it, 13, a ride that shouldn't even have a launch, has a better launch than Icon. And down the launch straight, blinded by the flash of the, the camera. And a quick, sharp right turn. Now, that can be quite headbangy sometimes, but it's all right. And then you pop up into this little hill. Um, last time I did say that I don't feel the airtime whatsoever when people said there was some. I do kind of feel it, but it's it's not the best airtime in the world. Then dip down to the left. That's quite a intense part of the ride. Not quite as intense as like Nemesis, but it, it's still good. Really think your feet are gonna crack against the wow. You pop up again, and from here, it's just right and a little bit of a detour over. And yeah, this the speed hill at the end into the brakes still not the most enjoyable thing in the world and by the time i've clicked my fingers the ride is over uh, <laughs> so last time my main kind of thing against this ride was the fact that it's quite short it's quite forgettable and also it was a little bit rough i wouldn't say it's as rough now on the rides i've had recently um so there's definitely that factor it's still very short and i wouldn't put it over stealth no way but compared to last time i now find it a fun ride it's an enjoyable experience, but it's just not something I would rush to every time I visit. So do I still think it should be removed from the park and replaced with an Intamin Blitz? Wholeheartedly, yes. Would I queue more than 20 minutes for it? Probably not. So, those kind of things still stand, but it's not a bad ride. It's just alright. It's decent. It's okay. It's terrible. So what's your opinion on Rita, and do you think it's bad? Because I certainly don't.